So if you have a green thumb, chances are you have an abundance of fruits and veggies ready to harvest from your garden right now. The question is, what do you do with all that zucchini? Well, our next guest has some fun ideas in the smoothie book. Here's author and nutritionist Ali Shercliffe. Well, I absolutely love your book for so many reasons, but one of the things I like the most is that you have organized your recipes by season, which I think is so great because right now we've got so many different vegetables popping up in our garden. So what should we make right now? Definitely zucchini. We have lots of zucchini at our house. So we have zucchini and we have some apples and I've been making a lot of fig smoothies as well and mm. carrot smoothies. So today is all about the zucchini. I love it. And you have a zucchini bread smoothie. I'm very interested in this. How do you make a zucchini bread smoothie? So I have one cup of chopped zucchini. So you can have it fresh or frozen, whatever works. Um, sometimes I chop them up and put them in the freezer just for something frozen for smoothies, but one cup chopped. So put that in and then one apple chopped as well. So that adds a little sweetness to it. Natural sweetness. And we have a fourth of a cup of oats to give it that bread type flavor. That's where the bread comes in. Okay. Yeah, yeah it does. It gives it that like richness, I guess. And an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's kind of hard to see in there, but there's an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then one cup of almond milk. I always use almond milk, but any milk is fine. So I have a lot of milk here because we're going to be using it for all of the recipes. Okay, so there we go. And I always have extra just in case you need to keep blending. So these are, by the way, the, the oatmeal is raw. It's not cooked, right? Yeah, just, just raw oats. Okay. Yeah, and it gives it that like nice, like a, a thicker texture. Starchy kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yes. all, all right. Well, I will pause while you blend. Okay, sounds good. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty quiet, actually. I was expecting a very loud blender. And this makes, so this recipe makes two eight ounce smoothies. Okay, that was very, what kind of blender is that? That thing is fast. I know, it's a, uh, it's a Vitamix. It ah. blends things so well, especially like ice and nuts and um, anything frozen, but I'll take a taste, give a taste test. I really want to try that. Really? I really want to try that. And I also want to try the apple crisp smoothie because I'm, I love apples. Yes. Yeah, I do too. Well, I have got the ingredients for that as well. So we have two cups of chopped apples, two cups, two cups, and also some zucchini just to get a little bit of um, vegetable in there. So this is, let's see, where's our zucchini? A half a cup of zucchini. So a little bit less than the zucchini bread. Okay. But, um, and then this is a half of a cup of rolled oats to give that dessert flavor as well. And then we have a tablespoon of flax meal. Flax meal, okay. Flax meal. You could use seeds too, since we're using the blender to get the healthiness uh, aspect of it. Yeah, but if but, you don't have a Vitamix, get the meal. Cause I'll tell you what, my little blender is not gonna make it happen. <laughs> right. And then we have a half of a teaspoon of um, cinnamon. Okay. And vanilla. We have a fourth of a vanilla. teaspoon okay. of vanilla. All right. Extract. And then another cup of almond milk. And here we go. And I love that it's all pretty much the same ingredients that you've already been using. So if you have a lot of zucchini, a lot of apples in your yard, you can yeah. mix it up day by day. Yeah, you really can. And if you have like tons of zucchini, like we do at our house, yeah, I chop it up into cubes and freeze it. And then I can use it in the winter. I love that. Here we go. I just can't believe how quiet that thing is. It smells very cinnamony in our house right now. It smells I really good. Cinnamon. It's like a fall smoothie. Yeah, nice and warm. And here we go. And you can chill it too if you want it to be cold because I'm assuming that's not really cold right now. Yeah, this isn't, if you use the frozen zucchini, it kind of helps, but um, but yeah, this one is more room temperature, but yeah, you could definitely chill it for oh. sure. Oh, thank you so much for taking the time to show us these recipes. I can't wait to taste them myself. Thank you so much too for having me. 
Also, thank you to Zoom for canceling out that background noise. They do a great job. Meantime, you can find the recipe for both of these smoothies on our website. Come